I went ahead and updated my property declaration to include the non-atomic specifier that we talked about in the last video. Since our application will only have one thread to worry about, I think this is a good option. One more thing that we need to do with the instance variables is to dealloc them. The normal way to dealloc an object that you created is to send it the release message. Another way is to set it to nil after you send it the release message. And finally, and the way we're going to do it, is to simply set the value to nil. So let's add that code now. Let's go on over to our implementation file using option command down, and we'll create our dialic method. Let's quickly run through those three methods. So the first one we could say username, release. And that's all we would do. And the second way would be to set it to nil. So we'd say self, set username, and we'd pass in nil as our parameter. And then the third way, which I think is the simplest, just delete all that, and we'll say self, and we'll use dot notation, username equals nil. I think that looks the cleanest, it's very clear what's happening, and it's less code to write. So that's our first instance variable we need to dealloc. Let's do our second one. And then the last thing we need to do is call dialloc on our superclass. This ensures that the parent class can handle all of its cleanup as well. So we'll say super dialloc. And that's it. That's all we have to do to set up our dialloc method. Next up, we're going to add the code to make our TM Twitter class a singleton class. Here's the Wikipedia definition of a singleton class. In software engineering, the singleton pattern is the design pattern that is used to restrict instantiation of a class to one object. Now, our TM Twitter class is a good candidate for a singleton since we will only ever need one instance of it. If you do some research, you will find there is quite a bit of discussion on how to correctly implement a singleton. The singleton we will create is only loosely a singleton. Now this is due to the fact that multiple instances could be created and that it is not thread safe. I'm not concerned about either one of these because our app will only use one thread and we will ensure there is only one instance. You can find several examples with a Google search, but I would say the two best posts to look at are Chris Hansen's and Peter Hosey's. The example we are using comes from Chris Hansen's blog. If you want a solid singleton that is thread and instance safe, I suggest you take a look at Peter Hosey's example. Let's get back over to Xcode and add the class method that we'll need to create a singleton out of our class. All right, back in Xcode, Let's go over to our interface file, and we're going to add a method, and it's going to be a class method, so we're going to put a plus, and it's going to return a TM Twitter, because that's what our class is. And our method name is shared instance. So let's copy that. Use command option up arrow to get to our implementation file. And I'm going to put this method just above the dialloc method. So I'll paste that in. Now the first line we need is going to be static ID shared instance. And we're going to set the value to nil. Then we're going to create an if statement. And we're going to check if shared instance is nil. And here we're going to use the double equal sign to check for equality. And if it is nil, and if it is nil, we're going to create one. And in either case, whether there is one or we just created one, we're going to return the shared instance. This is not much code, so let's look at it real quick. So here in our first line, we're creating a static variable shared instance. It has a type of ID, and we're setting its value to nil. Now, if you're not familiar with the term static, this means two things. The first is that this variable will not go out of scope when this method finishes. And the second 
is that this variable is only created one time. So once it's created the first time, it will always occupy the same place in memory. Now in the next line, we say if shared instance equals nil, then we're going to create the shared instance. So we're going to say self alloc init. Self here is referring to our class TM Twitter, and this method will allocate memory and then initialize our class. At the end, it's going to return the shared instance. So after it's created the first time, if it were to come back in here again, it's going to say, is shared instance equal to nil? And the answer to that will be no. So it would just return itself again without creating another instance of the class. And that's how this small amount of code is able to create a singleton class.